Hey, you guys, it is Pastor Dawn. Um, it's kind of late at night, but I just really felt a prompting of the Lord that I needed to get this particular video out. Um, the title of this video is Your Destiny is in Your Hands. Your Destiny is in Your Hands. And um, I just released another word called Ichabod Structures Are Being Dismantled. And I'm not sure what it is about tonight, but the Lord is kind of having me release some stronger prophetic words than I normally release. Uh, most of the things that I release are very encouraging in nature. Um, this one um, at first is is not going to sound quite encouraging at first, but if you'll stay to the end, I promise that it will be worth it. And then, um, and then I have one more to share tonight. Okay, all right, so this is called Your Destiny is in Your Own Hands, and uh, most of this is um is a prophetic rhema word that the lord spoke to me and so i'm going to read it um from his perspective because that's how he gave it to me okay so <clears throat> the word oh sorry 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 <laughs> so the word of the lord says the world is getting darker and darker by the day the amount of broken people in the world overcome by the enemy's bondages waxes worse and worse and my church, says the Lord, has become weak and impotent. For the most part, my sons and daughters do not know who they are. The enemy has wounded them in a plethora of ways and they have become easy prey, prime targets for the enemy to overtake and overcome them. My sons and daughters are either being tormented daily by the enemy's assaults or they are seeking after selfish, prideful ambitions. These things distract my children from their true destinies in the earth. There are three things that must take place to remedy the enemy having dominion over my children in these last days. So number one, a pushing aside of all distractions and a fervent seeking of me, says the Lord, to hear and discern my true voice and plan for their life. Uh, research Jeremiah 29 11 and uh, Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Number two, a learning or a relearning of their true identity as my beloved sons and daughters who have been given my authority over all works of darkness. See Matthew 10 1, Luke 10 19, and Matthew 28 28. And number three, um, a deep, uh, a deep understanding of um, the true, sorry, a deep understanding of my true call and plan for their lives in light of this present age. The last day's church must rise up in the beauty of my holiness and in the power of my miracle signs and wonders. See Isaiah 8, 18. Okay, so that's the end of the rhema word like from God's perspective and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of share with you some thoughts from my own perspective and so it wasn't until several several years ago that um, I went through uh, a long season of time where I healed from a lot of past trauma and um, I didn't understand until like maybe halfway through that season and by the way that season was at least seven years long so it was it was not a short amount of time it wasn't until about maybe halfway through that season that I realized that I had been walking in a lot of victim mentality. I had been walking in a lot of, um, and um, the enemy really ruled my emotions and my behaviors and my choices. Um, not only was did I have a lot of unresolved bitterness in my life, but because of the anger and frustration and the critical spirit that I was walking in, um, I was just highly offended and easily offended all the time. And, um, and I kind of lived my life in such a way that I either, either felt helpless and hopeless all the time, or I was constantly critical of other people and other things. And I, what I didn't understand was that God has placed our destiny in our own hands. Um, it's in the hands of our choices, our little choices, our big choices, our day-to-day -day choices. So you guys, if you need to get to know God all over again, if you need to take a year 
And other than going to work and, you know, doing the things that, you know, have to be done every day, if you need to push away all TV, all, I don't want to say all social media because some social media is actually really good for you because it feeds you, you know, like, like some of the things on my channel and other people's channels, um, I believe, um, are, are worthwhile content. But if you need to take a year and get to know God all over again, again, and get to know yourself all over again and discover why you keep cycling through the same patterns of sabotage and destruction or lamenting or whatever and get to know who God truly is and who you truly are then I would tell you that the time for you to do that is now now um, we are in the last of the last days and although I don't believe that the second coming of Christ is going to be for several more years and the reason I don't believe that is because um, there are several things, prophetically speaking, about end times that have not yet happened that the Bible um, foretells. Um, but you know, those things could happen within the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. We don't know, right? And so, if... I guess it's weird. Now, at this point in my life, I see things differently. And so, I see how at one time, I felt like maybe... I don't want to say people owed me anything, but I was constantly in a state of not really taking responsibility for, I don't know, I wasn't taking responsibility for my choices. I wasn't taking responsibility for my actions. I was constantly allowing the enemy to have dominion over me in my um, emotions, in my decisions, in my actions. And because I had been behaving that way for so many years, I also didn't realize um, sometimes how toxically I was behaving and how I was um, really allowing the enemy to operate through me and I didn't I was so blind I didn't even see it so I am not sure why I included that or why I said that other than um, I'm in such a different space than I was 15 years ago and I understand now that God, in the beginning, in Genesis, God gave dominion over the earth to Adam and Eve and to all of mankind. And so that means that we have the responsibility to take responsibility for our life. Even if we have experienced deep sorrow or horrible, tragic things, we still have the responsibility to, yes, lean into God, to get his to get his wisdom, to receive his power, to receive his his help and his grace and all of those things. But we still have a responsibility to take responsibility for our own lives. I have no idea why I'm saying this because I hadn't planned on saying any of that at all. So anyway, so um, if this word has ministered to you or, or I'm hoping maybe, I'm hoping maybe, that it will be a little bit of a wake up call for a lot of us that God is calling us to a season of fervently seeking him, figuring it out, like figuring out, Lord, why did you really place me here on this earth? And since you chose to put me here on this earth in the last of the last days or in the latter part of the last days, then Father God, then your purpose and plan for my life must be fairly significant. And so we have to get our eyes off of ourselves and get them onto God and ask him, Lord, what is it that you want us to be putting our hands and our minds and our hearts to? But before we do that, we have to be in a place where we are walking in alignment with his heart. And so if we have a lot of emotional toxicity inside of our mind, will, and emotions, if we're operating in a lot of a critical spirit or anger or bitterness or unforgiveness, if, if we're operating in, um, um, even if we're operating in a lot of depression or oppression or anxiety or fear, we really have to take the time to allow God to walk us through the process of renewing our mind and delivering us from those things and healing us from those things because we cannot be effective 
and what he's called us to do here in the earth if we're walking in those things. It's just, it's just the truth. Okay. All right. So, um, if the ministry of this channel, um, blesses you and if you feel led to sow, um, into this message or just into the ministry of this channel, the giving links are below in the description of this video. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but I almost always in the description of the video, not only do I give you the opportunity to seek out some of the resources that I have created for y'all, but usually I include either, um, uh, and a way that you can email me or a way that you can reach out to me and open up a line of conversation so that um, I can maybe get a discernment for if, if you know if there's a possibility of, of a way for me to be able to help you personally um, I, I can't help everybody in the whole world but I do I do take all prayer requests to the Lord and so I just want to pray for you right now and I want to um, and as I pray for you then I'm also going to pray for our culture here in America and if you would join me in that prayer so father God in the name of Jesus I thank you for the opportunity to share your heart with your sons and daughters father God I ask in Jesus name that you would give us eyes to see and ears to hear what your Holy Spirit is saying to us father God you created us in your image and your likeness you have given us your authority to have dominion in the earth. And that doesn't mean having dominion over people. It means having dominion over the works of the enemy. And so, Father God, I'm asking in Jesus' name that you would begin to reveal to us how we are walking in agreement with the works of the enemy. How we are allowing the enemy to operate through our mind, will, and emotions, our choices, our actions, our reactions. Father God, clean us up, Lord purify our hearts purify our our motives and our intentions so that we can serve you from a pure heart and so that we can whatever it is that you call us to do lord god if you've if you've called us to um be moms or dads or work in the corporate world or our own businesses or ministries that whatever it is that we put our hands to lord that not only would we be doing it with all of our heart soul mind and strength as unto you but we would also be doing it by your spirit, that we would be operating in the fruit of the spirit, which is your love and your joy and your peace, your kindness and patience and forbearance and long suffering and faithfulness and gentleness. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you give us a reality check. Lord, we can't we can't say that we're pursuing after your plan and your destiny in our life. If we're walking in a lot of emotional toxicity that's really in alignment with the enemy and so father God I'm just asking that you know your word says that you that it is your goodness that brings us to or that draws us to repentance so father God in the name of Jesus I ask that you would pour out your grace and your mercy and your kindness and your love upon each and every person under the sound of my voice Lord God, I ask that you would, I pray that in some way that this video would be a wake up call for them, Lord God, that they would understand that the time is short and that you have a destiny and a call on their life and you need them to get into alignment with you so that they can walk out the fullness of that destiny and call in Jesus name. All right, you guys, uh, right now we have um, a fundraiser going on. We have... Um, my really big like what do you the the big kahuna of all of my coaching programs which is the heftiest of programs it's it takes most people um it used to be called 21 day mindset reset there's no way you can get through it in 21 days it takes most people about three or four months to get through it and so it's called the master's mindset reset and um if if you need to learn how to renew your mind with the word of god um, and to discern um, your mindset blocks and your and your trauma triggers and you need to learn how to meditate scripture and begin to um, call those things that be not as though they are and you really begin to um, to do an overhaul of your mind will and emotions then I want you to check that out in the in the description of this video all right you guys God bless you have a really good night